Hello YouTube, this is NecroStevo and you're about to watch one of my narrated Wi-Fi battle videos. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I am very happy to finally be done with work for today. Of course, today I was subbing. Tomorrow I have to go back to work and I have ongoing cases. Always fun. So if you guys have anything good coming up, let me know. But in the meantime, I hope you all enjoy this narrated theme, Team Battle. Of course, this is my Persona 4 theme team. Um, and uh, I had a lot of fun making the overlay for this. I learned some new things in Paint.net. But uh, my opponent for this battle was Toshiro, and we actually had this battle a long time ago. But I knew I wanted to make a custom image for it and a custom overlay for it, so I just took my time, um, I guess, putting it up. But uh, be sure to go check out his channel. It's in the description. And uh, this team actually is going to have several different members rotating throughout, because there's a lot of different Persona characters that you can have from Persona 4 that are rep uh, represented by Pokemon. <clears throat> the theme that you guys hear in the background is actually called Persona Mon because it's a combination of Pokemon and Persona 4 uh, music, so that's always fun, right? In any event, uh, this team, as you guys see from the team at the bottom of the screen, um, it's kind of weird. It doesn't really follow anything. I kind of went more with the characters and their mannerisms. For example, I have Nanako uh, representing. Um, being represented by Tangrowth here, just because she's kind of the glue for all the characters in the game. Um, without Nanako, I don't think the characters would have gotten as far as they did, and, and Tangrowth brings this team together quite nicely. Now, I start off missing quite a few uh, sleep powders here at the beginning of the match, and that's going to be an ongoing trend. I have really crappy luck this match, I don't know what was going on with it. But my opponent, Toshiro, is actually using the actual personas, whereas I'm I'm having Pokemon representing uh, characters, he has Pokemon representing personas. For example, Izanagi is uh, Yu, Yu Narakami's uh, persona. And so I'll flash those pictures up there so you guys can see what the personas are that they're representing. And he does a pretty good job of choosing. Um, I miss another sleep powder, which sucks because I would have at least burned his... Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to miss this sleep powder, which sucks because I would have at least burned his alarm, which I didn't know that he had. Fortunately, I didn't miss the Leech Seed, because uh, I, I, after he set up the screens, I was not able to prevent him from setting up the screens just because um, I kept missing Sleep Powder. And I knew I could take any one hit from him and Toxic him, and this is when I found out that he has a Lumberry. So, uh, had I not missed my Sleep Powder, he would have at least already have been burned through his Lumberry and Toxic to cut his Sweep short or even put to sleep, which means he would not have hit me that hard in the first place. Now, I know I can't take another hit from this Haxorus, especially plus two Outrage. Not, this, this Tangrowth is max defense, max HP, and it did three force. So I figured I'd go ahead and send out Yu to face himself. And uh, hopefully, even though this isn't a fully defensive B-Sharp, I could live a Outrage. Unfortunately, I don't hit, take it very well at all. Um, it's a good thing he's not life orbed, I guess because then I would have KO'd me for sure. But knowing that um, Nanako can take another hit from Outrage based on the damage it did the first time, it only did a little bit under half. I know I can take another one easily, get the Leech C recovery, and then uh, maybe try to put it to sleep again, or put something else to sleep as he switches out from the confusion. But he gets a critical hit, and that means my one defensive Pokemon on this team is down. Uh, and that's just really a little bit unfortunate because normally I end up switching around a lot on this team. I have a lot of immunities. So I'm able to switch around a good bit, and now without my defensive Pokemon, I can't do that. Now Himiko is actually uh, Risei's persona, and um, Himiko is the kind of a scouting type, and Risei doesn't take part in battle. She hangs back and gives the party uh, battle information and tells you about weaknesses. And so the Gardevoir setting up Reflect and, and you know setting up dual screens, and it probably has some status afflictions to do as well, or passing around wishes and things like that. That's going to be really annoying for this team, especially the Reflect. If I had just been able to stop that thing from setting up Reflect in the beginning with Sleep Powder, I would have been able to do so much more damage throughout the turn of this battle. Now, Sukuna actually represents uh, the persona for um, Naoto-chan, and while it is very, very speedy, it is definitely not 
it does not sacrifice any attack power, and so I, I figured he, he would switch, which is why I Thunderwaved on his uh, way in with Lucario. And I see him set up the Nasty Plot, and I was like, crap, okay, I'm going to go for Iron Head Flinches. If I was missing all those attacks, I've got to get some Iron Head Flinching or a Paralysis in here somewhere. But he gets up one Nasty Plot without getting flinched or paralyzed. He gets up another Nasty Plot without getting flinched or paralyzed. And then he one hit KOs me with the Vacuum Wave without getting paralyzed. So, not, not very likely for him to get through all those turns without having any type of Paralysis or Flinch. But, I guess that's just Sakuna it's able to move around pretty quickly regardless of what's going on around it. I actually thought uh, Yosuke here, uh, represented by Seismato, would be able to take a plus four vacuum wave even with a life warp just because of its natural bulk. And I was going to try to just hit him with an earth power. But I was not able to, which sucks. Um, I send in Teddy here. My opponent decides to relent. He probably could have destroyed the rest of my team with vacuum waves if he wanted to. But you know, we were having fun. So, why not? He sends out Kentoki Doji, and it's funny that, once again, Teddy must face himself. Kentoki Doji is the persona of Teddy, and whom better to represent something big and round and lovable like that than Snorlax? Uh, this, of course, is a quick feat set, as you guys saw early, uh, as you're going to see when I think Gardevoir comes in on it later and traces it. Uh, but I knew I couldn't KO it through the Reflect, and so I just switched back out on the Kanji, um to hopefully take whatever he went for and then hit him with a cross chop hoping for the crit because I knew if I hit him with the crit through the light screen I mean through the reflect I could finish him off and the reflect actually runs out right there which is great maybe I can finally get some you know offensive pressure going here and he survives a cross chop and then blows up which is exactly what Kintochi Doji does he just throws a giant tomahawk missile and it explodes I don't know if any of you guys have played Persona 4 Arena but that is one of his super moves uh, and of course, Electabuzz is not going to be able to take that. That's okay though, because now I get a free switch into Teddy, and uh, I don't remember what I was thinking right here. I go for Crunch instead of Facade, and that is a huge mistake, because Facade number one is way more powerful than the super effective Crunch. Uh, but also he gets to set up a, a Reflect. And thinking back on it, I want to say that I predicted a switch there, but I don't know what to. I had this battle so long ago. But um, here he just he stalls out turns of um, my poison, because, you know, if he stalls out a turn, he's going to rack up more poison on Teddy. And uh, I'm able to take him out with the facade. So finally I get rid of Himiko. He has a good amount of information about my party already, uh, so I think Risei's persona did her job very well. He goes back out into Izanagi, and here is where allowing him to get that reflect back up bites me in the butt. Granted, this thing probably wouldn't have been a problem at all if it hadn't destroyed my uh, Tangrowth earlier on. And I actually protect, expecting him to just go in a, ahead and attack. And I protect it so that I could stall out turns of the reflect, because I knew my last remaining Pokemon was Metacham, and so I needed the reflect to be gone before I could really do damage to his team. Uh, he gets up a Swords Dance, and that sucks. Um... Uh, it doesn't really matter because I think he can still one-hit KO uh, Metacham or Teddy from the range of HP that they were at. And just throw a little bit of salt in the when he gets a critical hit right there. But, uh, I don't know, maybe I should have gone for the double protect there. Try to stall out more turns. Here I'm basically forced to go for Ice Punch because I know that there's a good chance that some of the Pokemon he has left have protect. And also he has an Acel Gore left and I don't want to hit that with a high jump kick. I don't know if I can avoid it. So here I'm just hoping for a crit, hoping for something, and I am unable to get it as the reflect means that that attack is not going to do basically any damage to him. So unfortunately this time the Persona 4 party is defeated, and uh, hopefully I can just reload that save, have another battle with Toshiro in the future, and bring you guys another match um, with this team. I look forward to having other matches with the team just because I have a few other Pokemon that I have that I need to get represented um, and give them a little bit of screen time as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that match. I hope you guys liked the layout in the, in the picture here. I had a lot of fun making them um, and I've had a lot of fun just learning more about programs and, and using themes and effects and things like that. But anyways though, I hope you all have a great weekend. And I will talk to you all on Tuesday. Bye now.